Well, hey, and welcome, guys. Today we're over at the Disney's Old Key West Resort. Today we're going to do a walkthrough tour of the uh, Disney Old Key West. It's actually a DVC resort. And as you can see, they got the little bungalows all the way around, and it's in the theme of uh, Key West. This is where you're going to park when you come down to the main uh, lobby area where you're going to check in. This is where the buses is going to drop you off. So if you're on a bus or coming in from the uh, Magical Express, you're going to get dropped off there. If you're checking in, you're going right through here, guys. Now we're walking up right now, and not only are we going to the main entrance, but this is also like a side entrance or the front entrance of the general store there, the uh, Migos we just passed. We'll go by that and bend it on the inside here. So this is where all the bus drop offs are, the airport drop offs. And you're going to come down here if you want to the bus if you're staying in this area. There's different bus stops throughout the resort, but this is where it's going to be where if you're close to this area, you'll walk over here, wait for the bus to pick you up there. And this over to the left is your general store. And over to the right here is your concierge check-in. We're going to get your park passes, all that fun stuff. And it gave us a uh, facelift over the years. You just got the train up on top there, that's all. Right. And we need it. I kind of liked it the old way, but change is change. This used to be desks all the way around, but that's where you're going to go check in. You're going to get your tickets there. That's Olivia's right over there. That's a restaurant that's located in the Key West Resort. That's actually a really good restaurant. And when I used to come here in the very beginning, I remember these new people that were working in there that were waiting the tables. And I've actually come here so many times that I saw two of the people retire. So that's pretty amazing to go through an entire you know, work cycle of these people. They're up working and you're on vacation and you actually get to see them retire. 20 years later. So you make friends along the way. A lot of people come down and they'll stay at just these, uh, like a one resort. This is the boat area where the boats are going to come in. So if you want to go to downtown or uh, Disney Springs, that's going to take you there. It'll also take you over to the, uh, when you get to downtown or Disney Springs, I, I should be calling it that. But it'll give you the transfer and you can go back up to either Saratoga or you can go up to the uh, Port Orleans. And this is the outside of Olivia's restaurant right there. And they've got all these tables here, the uh, little umbrellas and tables, and that's for all the little restaurants right here. You got the burger and suitcase, you got goods. So this is like your little mini pool bar. That's actually a fun little place. And this is goods. So it's, a, it's a pretty much a grab and go. You go in there, you order your food, you wait out here, you can eat it at the table, you can even take it back inside around the pool. That's a little weightlifting area, a little gym, and then you got a little tiny, tiny arcade in there. And over here is the main pool on the property. So when you come down here, you get this big main pool. I'm not going to walk in there today. I don't have the kids with me, so... I like to have Morgan and Marley anytime I go near the pool. Because it's the the camera. So as you're coming out away from the pool, out the front here, over here in the back, you've got the bathrooms, so you can go in there. Yeah, his and hers. You got a little rec area over here, a little ping pong tables. You got the bicycles we just walked by. So if you want to ride a bicycle, they've got a bike trail that you can follow along that will take you to different places. Mm -hmm. Now keep in mind, anytime you guys rent the bikes, do some homework on the uh, the bus or the bike routes because some of these, like this one here, we rented the Surrey bike here. We actually got a video posted of that on the website and. Uh, that's uh, countrybeartours.net. We do have that posted on there, but there are a lot of sidewalks up and down in this one, and you really gotta have some leg power. So if your legs aren't the strongest, or you're tired, or it's super hot, 
take that in mind because this one, every time you got a lift on the sidewalk, you're going up and down like a yo-yo, and them cars are heavy. The Surrey bikes, I like to go over to the Port Orleans because it's all flat. And there's some ups and downs, don't get me wrong, but it's flat. You don't have the sidewalks to keep going up and down on. And as I get a little further along in this one, I'll show you what I mean by the sidewalks. You'll see that. And that really takes a lot on you. Yeah, we're going to walk around back towards the pool. And right behind us, I didn't tell you guys, but there is a fire pit back there. you got a volleyball uh, set and you've got a uh, fire pit back there. So and we're coming up to the back of the pool right now. And you also got an area back here to do your laundry and stuff too. So if you guys are staying in a place that doesn't have washing machines, you can come down here and do your laundry. I used to use this one here going home, and that's right in that little right now. But you go in there, you do your laundry, and you take it home with you, so it's not a so right now we're back out past the pool where we came in and then when we came in and we took a left and went to the pool well, we're taking our right now so when you walk up to, past the check-in past Olivia's you take a right and you come out to the road again got the little cornhole game on the side there I have actually played that at least a, I'm just still like playing it over in uh, Coronado Springs this way it takes you out over the road, takes you over to the bridge. And this is actually a nice walk too. You know, I used to only stay up here near the front of the uh, resort. So I'd stay up there, up in front of us I should say, to the right. And I'd stay behind us, right next to the hospitality house and check-in. But then I found that walking around, I, it's, sometimes it's fun to have that little bit of a walk. If you do stuff too quickly, you could get bored of a lot of different things. But I like to walk around checking things out. I always have. You know, I do a lot of walking now. And sometimes I wonder if my feet can keep up with me because it's really brutal on your feet. I've had shoes that have actually melted on the hot surfaces. But it's, uh, it's a lot of walking. But staying on top of me, I like to just walk around and see it. So if I'm staying out like an eighth of a mile out, I'm okay with that. I could walk down. You could still take your car, but you know, you could walk down also. So here's the back end of the where you're gonna check in right there. You've got Olivia's, you got the pool, and then you can swing around and you can't see the lighthouse yet, but you'll see that further up. And this is gonna take you around to all the different rooms and stuff. So it's a big resort, so it's laid out. A lot of roadway here, so you're going to get a different, uh, like they'll give you a little piece of paper, they'll show you the map, and then they'll highlight which section you're staying in. And these little blue signs up in the right here, they tell you what rooms they are, or what buildings they are, and then you got to find your room in the building. And they go all the way around, so you're just going to remember where you're staying, you're going to walk around, and all these buildings are pretty much the same, they don't change, they're all the same color scheme, the same railings. In there. That's one of my favorite places to stay where they are. I think maybe because it was like one of the first places I stayed. It's close, it's a great spot, and nighttime it's a beautiful place. You get to see everything down here because you get to see the whole walkway up there where you check in and stuff and around the pool. That's all lit up, so you get to see all this. Remember that when you're checking in too and you're deciding where you're going to stay because. If you're staying too far out, you're not going to see any of that. So if you would like seeing the nightlife and stuff like that, you know, suggest getting a room down here. You get to see the pool, the lighthouse all lit up. You still get to see the boats coming and going. And the boats are actually water taxis because they are going to take you where you need to go. And as I said earlier, this, these boats will take you over to the Port Orleans, French Quarters, and the Riverside. And it's also going to take you to the Saratoga Springs. And you're just going to need to go, if you want to go to these places, you're going to need to transfer down at the uh, Disney Springs and then jump on the correct boat. And this is what you're going to get for walking. And as you notice, the sidewalks, they're nice and smooth. So if you're renting the Surrey bikes or the regular bicycles, you know, they'll, they'll post at the track your course where you're going to ride the bikes and you have to stay on that so it's a bike route so when you're posting and you get to see that just take in mind that these bikes some of them are big and 
depends on what you have on you when you're driving and stuff like that. But as we get up closer up here, take a look at the sidewalk as it goes down. So every time you're driving this bike that feels like it's about 300 pounds to Surrey bikes, you're going up and down these little lifts right here. And it doesn't seem like much, but I tell you what, that's a bump. Every time you hit that stuff, it's like a bang with the bike. So this isn't one of my favorite places to drive the bike. So I'll probably shoot another one and do a thorough run with the bike just to get it out there, but not a fan of this one. I like the Port Orleans one, and I believe that the other one that I used to love going to and riding was the Caribbean Beach one. I think they had a really nice one, but I think they've modified it. I'll get over there and check that out again, too. Because me and my kids used to love going to that one day. You went up near the pool, you went around the back side of it, you got to go over a bridge, but you couldn't go over the wrong bridge. And it was a nice trail, but I think they changed that when they put the, uh, the Riviera in. But I haven't ridden a bike over there in a long time. And this is uh, firsthand what some of these rooms look like, nice and bright. And they're actually doing a little bit of renovation, so as we're going further down, you might see some trucks. I noticed on the drive in today that there were some uh, work trucks out there, so they've got some of the buildings torn apart and stuff that they're redoing. That's your waterway. Now, if you're staying down here at near the uh, the very end of where the resort stops, down near the uh, like the old turtle uh, pond and stuff like that, that's uh, that's pretty far down. So just remember, if you're down there, you might want a car, or you're going to have to sit at the bus, or you're going to be doing a lot of walking. So you can go down near the South Point Pool. That's a fun little pool. Old Turtle Pond, that's another fun pool. They're back. We're going to have those videos posted also. I'm not including them into this one, but they're going to be included in the website, and you'll see them on YouTube as just an individual uh, uh, pool. And I believe we have the older versions of those posted on the uh, Country Bear Tours website. So just remember, if you guys are looking for videos also, like you could, you're thinking of something while we're walking along doing the tour, like, oh man, I, you know, that's I'd like to check out that pool. Always visit our website. We've got almost everything on there. I try to post as frequent as I can, but it's just it's a lot of work, and I do work a full time job outside this. So you know, living a ways away and doing a full time job and doing all this work does add up to a lot of time that I don't necessarily have, but. We get them out there as quick as we can. So I post them on YouTube rather quickly, but then the website takes a little bit longer because we do all that stuff ourselves. So. Okay, and down here we're coming up to our junction point finally. A little bit of a walk, like I said, right here. All that walking we just did took you all the way down to the first junction. And this is the uh, Lake Buena Vista Golf Course. This is It's going to dissect a couple of these resorts. It'll dissect this one. It goes over a little bit near the Port Orleans French Quarters and then over down near the Saratoga Springs. And it's going to take you on down that way on the back side of Disney Springs, the west side. All right, so here's your choices. If you take this road here, it's going to take you down to the old Turtle Pond Pool. If you take this way over here, it's going to take you down to South Point Pool. Now all these rooms are pretty much the same. They're gonna be the whole resort is the same. So we're heading back now. We're gonna head on back over to the uh, main area there where you're gonna check in the hospitality house. Once again, we're coming up on the old bridge here. And this, this resort here, I can't say it enough. If you haven't been over here, jump on a bus when you're, when you're uh, vacationing. Jump on a bus, jump on a boat. Come on over here and take a peek. You're not going to be able to drive your car in here unless you're staying at another resort. And you come over, just let them know you're coming and doing some shopping, some visiting. You're going to get some food. And you can come over and see all this stuff and come on in. 
and they let you park here. I'm not sure what the time limit is on it, but you know, when I'm on property and I've got my car on property, then I turn around and I uh, just I can drive in and out at a resort. Sometimes they don't let you in depending on the capacity and stuff of the resorts. Usually on holidays they shut them down, so you have to be here or you have to have a reservation. So if you're going out to dinner, you better have a reservation. But most of the year, you can just come in and out and use their facilities for like shopping, the, the restaurants. It's business for them. They're making the money yet. And you get to see these uh, places. But you don't really get a feel for this place unless you're walking around looking at it. But here's another glimpse of the uh, back of the hospitality house. It takes you over to the We're across the street now from that section. And this used to be the original hospitality house that they actually bulldozed over to make room for more rooms because of the demand here. So I liked the looks of the old place. It was cool. It was like a twin building of the other side. But in all honesty, you need the rooms. So it was a smart decision actually putting that in there. No, I think. And for the most part, there isn't much I would say that DVC, the Vacation Club, does that I'm not a fan of. Most of the stuff they do, they do really, really good. They take the time to think it out and they do it. And I'm not sure they're directly... I know Disney's a part of them. They used to be, like, nothing to do with them. And they paid, like, when you got your timeshare in the beginning, you they had to pay for all the park passes they gave away. But uh, now I think Disney's a percentage of DVC or vice versa. So now they, they are a part of that. But things have changed since back in the day, so it's not, you know, it was a lot better back in the day. They really welcomed their, so their diehards that came here. there for like the longest time. And now I think that things have changed a lot. But their decision making on the buildings and laying things out, they're, they're, they do a really good job. Now, Disney themselves, I'm not too keen on a lot of the things they do inside the parks, but you know, I'm not the decision maker. But these guys seem to do a pretty good job. That's why, you know, coming in and out of these places, you get to see it always looks great. Uh, and they don't really remove things. You know, sometimes the resorts are put things out of the it, it stays the same. And I like it that way. You know, 20 years down the road, it's the same. They don't change it, take that wonderful thing that you like out. Now, Disney, you go inside the parks, or you go into uh, different things that they do. And they'll change things up, yank things out that you may have liked that were incredible. And there's just no reason for it. There really isn't. You know, they took out the ride over in the Animal Kingdom, the Primeval World. It was a beautiful ride. And I granted they have problems with safety and people getting hurt and killed, but you know, you fix the problem. You don't necessarily take that ride out because you know, now you're missing a ride and you're still paying that same money to get into the park and you're short an attraction, you know? And then it changes the same thing with Splash Mountain, you know? I'm a fan of Splash Mountain. I like Splash Mountain. Change the theming then. Just change the theming. But I don't necessarily think that the uh, Princess and the Frog would be the replacement to that ride. Put that over on the Tom Sawyer Island. Now that island needs a facelift. Put it over there. Splash Mountain, retheme it. Change the music. Change a couple of the characters out or something. Keep it the same type of fun ride but don't necessarily change the ride just because in here these guys do a great job I, I will say I don't have a lot of gripes with the vacation club the animals in the resorts that I'm not really a fan of I know they're doing it now over the years I've lent our place out to relatives and friends and I've had a lot of problems with that where some of our friends had their kids, they walked in, they got direly sick because they did not know there was an animal in that room. Now, there's a lot of people allergic to animals, and there's a lot of people bringing animals in now, and that I'm not a fan of, but, you know, I know people want to bring their pets and stuff here, but I think that they should have a designated spot where if you have a pet, you go into those buildings because me, my family, my kids, our friends, and the people who bring in I want them to go in and have a new place, not a place that they've had animals crawling all over because that's not the same as me sitting on that carpet feeling the same about it than not having that stuff in there. And I don't want somebody really getting sick because of an animal going through there. So, you know, I'm not opposed to the animals, but I think that they should have a designated section put aside for if you have an animal, these are the rooms that your 
able to stay at, you know, and if you do something against that, then, you know, they can take actions against that because it's, once again, this place isn't just for one person. It's for a lot of different personality people and a lot of people that have ailments that can't be around things. So, you know, I think the animals are kind of a big leap, but I think they need to uh, keep an eye on that. But this is some of the stuff that they got here. This is another bus stop. So that bus stop's going to take you all the way around the perimeter of the vacation club here. And you're going to jump on it. So if you're staying over here, you don't want to walk that far. You go over there, wait for the bus. The bus is going to go through a whole bunch of routes to take you where you're going and stuff like that and get you back over to the hospitality house. Or it'll take you someplace because the bus will have a sign on it saying Magic Kingdom, Epcot, or wherever you're going. So this is probably pretty much the furthest point out on this end. The other side was the uh, South Point Pool that we didn't walk all the way down to. We also didn't go to the old turtle pond but this is i'll show you the pool quick before i head out pretty good man and this is about it guys this is the uh last pool on the property